today is the day of my next orthodontist appointment. I am running a little late because my apartment is doing inspections and I um, wanted to be there when they did it. So not that late, I guess. I'll get there at 12, which is the time of my appointment. this will count as an intro because there's no real like I just talked to y'all last week nothing's changed um my rubber band is still in as y'all can see so that's going fine it doesn't hurt or anything anymore um I feel like my teeth have been a little bit sensitive in the past couple days um I don't know why but I, it, it doesn't really matter for me um yeah, and again, I don't think I've had any changes. I think everything is still the same. So, yeah, I don't know what this... Oh, they're going to put the band on. Um, other than that, I think my wire and rubber bands will just get changed. I don't know what else is going to go on, but I'll update you guys after the appointment. Hey you guys so as y'all can see I got light blue this time it's weird it's very weird I'm not gonna lie they're really light um, but yeah so let me scoot over a little bit okay um so, how did this appointment go? Um, okay, so um, for this appointment, they um, took out the spacer that I had and put a um, band, all like a band that, what am I doing? The band goes all the way around my tooth, so it's not just like the bracket on the front, it's actual band. Um, I think... I thought they put on two, but maybe they didn't. But um, they put a band on back here, and I'll show y'all in a little bit. I guess I could show you. I don't know why I said that. I could show y'all now. That's the band. And then they took this bracket off, this one, and she repositioned it. She repositioned it and put it back on. Um, and then um, they put a power chain on, only on these four and then regular um, rubber bands on the rest. I kind of don't understand that part because I feel like I want these gaps to close but there's no power chain on these teeth so but I don't know I, they know what they're doing um, they don't quite explain everything in depth but I know the orthodontist came and um, looked at my teeth um, and she basically she was just kind of like going over what her treatment plan was and she was like, yeah, we put this here so that the tooth could turn. And once we put this band on, it will give something for the tooth to hold on to so that it can turn. And this one, they hooked for this tooth to turn too. And she was like, yeah, it's, I guess it's moving a little bit. Um, and then she was like, with the top, she, they can just do the power chain from four to four is what she said. Um, and then... I would be good so yeah 
So with this tightening or this appointment, um, the rubber bands and all that stuff was easy. It was great. But if y'all remember from the last video, when the other girl had fixed the wire on this side and came over and fixed whatever was over here and she actually I think she made it harder for this for my usual girl to get my um the wire that I had in I think she made it harder for her to get that out because when she was trying to take it out she was like oh it's really twisted up in there and I'm like because this freaking anyway so um they because of that I think this tooth was still sore and um like I said they took the bracket off and they had to get the glue and stuff off and I guess to put the band on um she had to cement it down sorry there's I'm probably gonna have to put wax on it the inside of the band is like um it's scratching my tongue and she did say like it's gonna cut up your tongue you should probably put wax in it and I was like no it's fine I'll see if I can bear it but it's bothering me but anyway so um she had to put cement on this back tooth and I think she had to get the glue or cement or whatever off of this tooth to put the new bracket on and to do that like she had this little um kind of like this little pliers looking tool to kind of like uh scrape off the not even scrape because she had to like pull it like scrape but also pull off the cement that was on my tooth and that junk hurt like it hurt so bad and she felt bad because she's like I know like this sucks I hate that I'm hurting you and I'm like it's not your fault it's the girl from last week's fault <laughs> but um yeah that part definitely sucked um but yeah putting on the band wasn't too terrible she pretty much just like fitted the band on and pushed it down and then I think afterwards she put cement on there to hold the band in place and then putting um changing out this bracket y'all just heard about that and then when she was putting the rubber bands on the bracket popped back off so she had to go through the whole process again. It was terrible. The orthodontist ended up having to come and drill uh, the, not drill, but like take the little, it was a machine and like file it off of my teeth instead of trying to pull it, pull the cement off. But um, yeah, once she got the bracket on and it stayed, everything else was quick. She just put the rest of the rubber bands on my teeth and I was good to go. So yeah that's how this appointment went i honestly like because of the whole that it was very painful so i didn't even like think to record anything um but yeah and then with this new band um i definitely am going to need some wax on this side of it because it is really scratching up my tongue so i'm gonna do that when i get off with you guys um but other than that this is how my teeth look This light blue is really light. It's very light. I don't love it, but it's fine. What am I gonna do? I'll change it in six weeks. Um, but yeah, so I apologize if y'all see any food. I did just eat. I took some Tylenol as soon as I got home and I ate because I hadn't eaten for morning and I was starving. Um, but I will check back in with y'all if I see any changes. But this is, what is this, three months? This is, I guess, the three months update. 
So I'll see y'all later. Bye. Let me know if you have any questions, any tips. If you, if it changes when you get power chains put on, let me know. I don't know when I'm get, gonna get the rubber bands that you connect from your bottom to your top yet, but it's only been three months. I still got a whole lifetime to go, so it's fine. But yeah, I will check back in with y'all either when I see um, teeth movement or for my next appointment, which is in six weeks. So thanks for watching. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys. Good morning, you guys. So um, it's been two days since my dentist appointment. I know I was supposed to end the vlog on the last video, but I just wanted to give y'all this update before ending out the update vlog or whatever. <laughs> Um, but y'all, it's been a terrible couple days. Um, the band that they put in my back molar, um, it's been dragging up my tongue. Like, even now, it's weird to talk because my tongue could get caught on the, the thing. So basically there's hooks on the inside, like the tongue side of the band. Um, I'm not sure why they use that molar band. I don't know if I'll be getting like rubber bands on the inside or something like that, but there's um, hooks in there and they're pretty sharp. So basically um, they kind of like scratch up my tongue throughout the day but the worst part is when I'm eating and like, um, or even just by habit, like I'll try and clean a certain part of my, um, my teeth. Like if I'm trying to push food out of my teeth with my tongue, my tongue will literally get caught on the hook and it'll get stuck. It will literally get stuck, like, like hooked. So I'll have to like rip my tongue off the hook. And when I tell y'all, like, it's happened twice so far. It happened on Tuesday, and then it happened yesterday. And when it happened on Tuesday, I guess it didn't get that caught. So I kind of just, like, like dragged my tongue off of it or whatever. But yesterday when it happened, it hurt so bad. I couldn't unhook my tongue from the, the hook. And I was freaking out. Like, I low-key had a panic attack because I it hurt too bad to just rip it off. But I could not get my tongue unstuck. So, um, ever since that happened, I, um, I put wax on it and kept wax on it for the rest of the day. Um, slept and slept with the wax on my tooth and everything. This morning, I took the wax off to brush my teeth. And I still, um, I haven't put the wax back on because I was kind of thinking like I'll try and go throughout the day with no wax and then put wax on when I'm going to eat. Um, but it's, it's still like scraping up the sore part of my tongue. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm sure this band is supposed to stay on for the rest of my braces treatment. So I just, I just don't know. If you guys have any tips or um, advice that you can give on how to deal with this, I would much appreciate it because I feel like with the wax, I can't wear wax for a year, like consistently for a year. And I feel like it may be different if it was like my cheek because your I think your cheek can um kind of callous to to get used to the scrape scraping and scratching and stuff, but I don't think it's gonna get any better with it being my tongue. And I feel like the hooks on this thing are sharper than the hooks that push off for rubber bands like the hooks on the bracket are not that sharp so I don't know y'all but 
it's bad. Like, up until this point, everything has been fine. Pain has always been manageable. Um, I could eat just fine and everything, but this, I don't know. And I'm only three months in. Like, I, I don't know. It makes me nervous about how the rest of the time is going to go because I, I don't think I can deal with this for a year. Um, but yeah, so please let me know if you have any tips or just something, something that will help. All right, but that's the last thing I'm going to say for this vlog. I will come back to y'all when I have um, any updates or um, my next appointment. Bye, you guys.